In mid-March, Seth MacFarlane unspooled an unseen red band trailer for a movie starring a teddy bear to an unsuspecting crowd at South by Southwest, killing the room and launching Universal's carefully calibrated, fully integrated marketing campaign for Ted. <laughs> right? Yeah, she gets it. She enjoys my humor. At the end of the month, a new Twitter feed was fired up with the bear's first tweet. Hello, Twitter. Kindly go fuck yourself. The next day, McFarlane appeared in a special 90-second spot on Family Guy that pushed viewers to a red band online trailer that introduced the world to Ted. I met a girl. Well, what's her name? White trash name, yes. Brandy Lynn, Heather Lynn, Tammy, Tammy Lynn. Ah! At the end of the summer, Ted had the biggest opening ever for an original R-rated comedy, over 450,000 Twitter followers and 4 million Facebook fans. I look stupid. No, you don't. You look dapper. John, I look like something you give to your kid when you tell him Grandma died. Universal created an integrated marketing campaign for Ted that connected television, digital, trailers, print, publicity and promotions in a fully coordinated effort to create a new comedy icon, making Ted the biggest arrival story of the year. Yes! Everybody needs <laughs> It all started with two guys needing to take a leak. Universal sent the message that the creator of Family Guy was about to make the jump to the big screen, retaining his trademark irresponsible comedy. The payoff print turned our buddies to camera, showing that they were having a better time hanging out than anyone else. We had to demonstrate that even though the movie starred an adorable teddy bear, it was not appropriate for kids. That message continued with Ted browsing the internet on the first piece of outdoor. With a copy line so outrageous, people were amazed that it made it out the door. These pieces established the campaign's clear, clean look and established Bostonian green as a color owned only by Ted. Nice. Good, huh? Good job. Yeah. Take pride in that. I like now. We always treated Ted like he was real, doing things that any real stoner would do, like tweeting. That's my bad, I was sending a tweet. At What Ted Said has more followers than any other movie except the Twilight series. We hired the co-writers of the film to make sure Ted's Twitter feed stayed perfectly in character. They even went live on Twitter with two Ask Ted Q&As. You don't think she's gonna be expecting something big, do you? What, like anal? Over on Facebook, Ted also posted tons of custom content that drew fans in. Starting with a fan base of zero, Ted now has more followers than Spider-Man and Batman. He partied with thousands of his fans. Oh, yeah! And his Talking Ted app became the biggest entertainment app of the summer. <laughs> Universal social media marketing for Ted set new benchmarks for innovation and integration that the whole industry is now chasing. The strategy of making Ted the main spokesperson for the film extended into promotions, showcased in a customized promo spot for Spike's Guy's Choice Awards. What is that? Oh, I was just showing him your Guy's Choice Holy Grail of Hot Award, you know, from last year. I tried to go Game of Thrones King Joffrey on him and make him ride it, but uh, upon further inspection, the, the trophy looks a, a bit sharp. Trailers were crafted to express that Ted earned its R rating with raunchy and outrageous comedy. Okay, all right, so that's where we'll draw the line. But also to extend reach to a wide audience <laughs> with heart and sophistication. I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. Ah! Three set pieces were introduced that would not only become the bedrock of the entire creative campaign, but have become classic comedy moments. Fuck you, thunder! You can suck my dick! You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fat. In a summer full of sequels and remakes, staying on strategy with an integrated campaign made Ted the highest grossing, fully original live action film of the year. That's why I watch these things. That's like a cool behind the scenes thing that you wouldn't know.